education, which is also very important that we, we, we women are to be educated to alleviate the, that which is what part of our subtopic to alleviate poverty alleviation. Because if we are not educated through the normal system or uh, skills, then we cannot participate. We have to participate to, in order for democracy to be stable in Africa, women's participation has to come in. And from my experience, it's not like we are, we are always saying, yes, Rwanda, some people are saying Rwanda has the highest percentage of women. But when you have clever men, they will tell you, oh, they kill all the men during the wars. That's why you have more women there now. <laughs> so, okay, let's forget about that and say, okay, we have women, let's do like Rwanda. You go to Europe like Sweden, like Norway. And um, I, I cannot see why in, in Nigeria, a parliament of over 300, you only have 20 women. It has to stop. And this a AEC is going to stop it. That the next election we are seeing in Nigeria, we are going to have women senators, women parliamentarians, and women president, not even a running mate. Let the running mate be a man. Women governors, already running mate for gubernatorial be a man. Thank so you. that we can, we can continue and go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, but, but, but like they say, for your question, it's, they always call us the pink wave. If you know what the pink wave is, because we are women, men are blue, so that's the, the pink wave. The pink wave have to turn now to blue wave. And that's where I stop for the time being. Thank, thank you. I, I think.